Hello friends, I am having some cereal before I head out. I am walking into a grocery store and I don't want to buy anything at the grocery store when I'm hungry because then I'll end up buying absolutely everything that looks good. So I figure we can have a little cereal before we head out. Oh no, I'm almost out of my favorite cereal. This is the Cheerios Oat, Oat Crunch. Oats and honey, it looks like this. This is my favorite cereal. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I've been obsessed with this for the last few years. Before this was the one with the little yogurt bites. Only Carlos remembers the name. I can never remember the name. Kellogg's? No, maybe it wasn't that. And this is the milk that I like. The Almond Breeze Unsweetened Original. I can't do like regular milk. Carlos does like the original milk and that would literally make me sleep on the toilet for days. So we do a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You guys have to try the cereal. Mmm, see you in a bit. I grabbed these flowers at Stater Brothers and I'm just mesmerized at how beautiful they are. Friends, look at this arrangement. It is so beautiful. It's screaming spring, summer, bridal shower, birthday parties. It is so, oh my God, so whimsical. Very garden theme vibe. I love it. I think I'm going to put it in this vase here and leave it in the kitchen just so we have a pop-up color since it's starting to be pretty hot outside. Oh, I have to show you guys because it's so beautiful. I love the colors. Babe, fresh flowers. I give them two days. For dinner tonight, I'm eating my favorite. Bum bao hui. It's a Vietnamese noodle dish. It's similar to pho, but not really. <laughs> Has like so much more flavor, spicier. I think it's way better. It's my favorite. Mmm. And it comes with my favorite, the pork. Mm. I probably shouldn't be eating like this because of my composite bonding. Sorry, Dr. Shu. But I gotta get all the chewy cartilage. We are going to get our nails done because, oh my gosh, you guys, my nails have gone through it. It's been a few days since I picked up the camera. Carlos and I and Michelle, we have been summer cleaning, spring cleaning. We've been hanging out. We've been watching a lot of Lifetime movies. We've been just relaxing and it's been really nice. Our mental health really needed it, so we wanted to prioritize that. But yeah, haven't picked up the camera in a few days and my nails, the ugliest I've ever seen them. Like, why do my nails look so bad? Do you guys agree? Like, when was the last time my nails looked this crazy? before. Anyways, I'm going to get my nails done because it is much needed and I'm going to get a pedicure too. Also, woke up with this lovely pimple right here and then a scratch, but I don't know what the scratch is from and when I touch it, it doesn't hurt. So I'm like, what is it? Is it even a scratch? But anyways, I got a pimple right here on my, on my side. It just appeared out of nowhere overnight, you guys. This is what happens when I don't keep up with the skincare routine. I missed the last two days because I've been all over the place. I need to get back on it because we're starting to see little things in places. Cannot believe I have a whole pimple. I might go to Target and get those pimple patches. Michelle always gives me so much shit because she's like, it's so unfair because you never take care of your skin that well like me. And I always tell her, I'm like, whenever I get a pimple, I'm gonna try those pimple patches because I actually don't break out that often. So when I do, I like to try everything that I usually can't try 
so I think I might go and get those pimple patches and put it like right here. I am so in love with my nails. These are actually my real natural nails, you guys. I went to Esta Nails as always and I booked with Bao. Joyce is back in the States. He, she was in Vietnam for a little bit, but she's back, but she's not working yet because she just had a baby. So I went with Bao and I told him I wanted short natural nails and oh my gosh, they look so good. I want to recommend a color to you guys because I love this nude color. Don't mind the little cut. I was opening a box last night and cut my finger. But you guys, I cannot believe I'm rocking my real natural nails right now. I've had acrylics for so long that I didn't realize that my natural nails are actually really pretty. I thought they were like weak and ugly, so I just always got acrylics. Oh my gosh, you guys, do you agree? Like they look very good, right? I'm not just like bullshitting myself. They look like Pinterest nails right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so basically I wanted to go very natural. I wanted to do shorter nails, very just clean, sleek. And so I walked in, I'll insert the photo that I showed Bao just to give him something to base it off. And actually doing gel X for the last month month and a half has really made my real nails grow. So I was so shocked. I'll insert a photo right now of how much my nail has grown, but I was so shocked when I saw that. And so I told him what I wanted and he was like, have you ever tried gel builder? And I was like, I've never really heard of that before. So basically, instead of putting acrylics on or gel X or a powder, they basically take gel and they do two thin layers on your real nail just to give it more strength and make it last longer longer and then on top of that they do like the gel paint that you want so today I opted for French but oh my gosh you guys I I never knew about it so if you are someone who you have really good real natural nails but you want something to kind of protect them and keep them strong I would definitely try gel builder I think I'm gonna get this for the rest of my life unless obviously I want longer nails I'll do acrylics but I got the same color on my toes without the French and these look so so good you guys I love this and I also want to recommend this beige color because I think that this color is so pretty on its own or with French tips. This is called D&D &D Inner Peace. I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to go online and maybe buy it or ask the nail salon that you go to to see if they have it. But I'm obsessed. Bao did such a good job. If you guys live in the area, go to Esta Nails and book with Bao. Bao did my nails. Oh yeah? Yeah. How'd it go? How'd it look? They're so good. Oh, they They're so my good. real nails. Did you, oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's so good and healthy. I, I you know. Thank right you. Now? He just did that. I left. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You there right now? Uh-huh. Thank you. Oh, you like too. Them. Thank you. We are going to go to Target. Oh, sir, you're backing out too. I haven't had one of these in so long. I'm so excited. Oh my god, that tastes so good. Today I got brown sugar in my matcha. I'm heading to Target because tomorrow is Aunt Susie's 50th birthday and it's like a black affair. I, first of all, I need to try on the dress that's in my closet. I don't even know if it looks good on me. <laughs> I bought it months ago and I didn't really want to buy any new clothes. So I went into my closet. I saw the dress. I have to try it on tonight to see if it looks good. But Aunt Susie actually just moved into a brand new house and we are going to get her a housewarming gift and we're going to get her a 50th birthday gift. I don't know what to get her for her 50th, but for the housewarming gift, I'm thinking since I'm really big on like home decor and kitchen, I was gonna get her the Ninja Air Fryer because who doesn't love that, right? So we'll see, we'll see. Let's go shopping together. That is our mission today. It is our purpose in life is to find these two presents before we get home. Oh my God, green light, green light. I also have to go to the bank <laughs> because I have to deposit a check, which you can do it through your phone. But I decided that I'm physically gonna go into our, into the bank and deposit my check. Target has a lot of summer stuff out. This is so cute. We're hosting barbecues or displaying food for parties. It's $20 and it's pretty big. And I love the colors too. I'm gonna grab two of the trays and then this frame is actually for my office. I needed one and they're actually back in stock. I'm still debating about this one just for some home decor. It's $15 and I just don't know yet. And then I found this for $14. It comes in a 
set of three and they're basically little ceramic bowls which I think are really pretty and beneficial in the kitchen so I don't know I'm still debating I absolutely love the bright room line at Target it's Target's organizational line but it's way more affordable and oh my gosh these are so cute they're like a light wood color things that you can put on your wall to hang stuff they're so so cute I'm thinking about buying this wood hook rack for the garage to put the dog's leashes on so when we take them on walks we can just grab and go because right now all their leashes are in a drawer and sometimes it can get really messy but I kind of really like this one as well it has the wood but it also has the metal hooks which I feel like might be sturdier but I don't know I do like the look of this one and then they also have the metal hooks in black as well and then they also have like individual wood hooks up there maybe for like the bathroom and stuff and if you guys are interested they also have little mirrors that you can hang by like the entryway when you guys come home it has the mirror and then a shelf and then metal hooks too and then there's this one over here as well for aunt Susie I am debating between the Nespresso coffee machine or the ninja air fryer I cannot decide I don't know if you guys know but I just saw this Target sells a pack of six undies for ten dollars and they come in different styles and sizes they even have plus sizes down here too which is awesome but six for ten bucks you guys I'm gonna grab these I grabbed the hipster seamless and then I also grabbed the brief seamless ten dollars and these are the colors that I chose wow what a good price yeah six pack for ten dollars hello friends it is Saturday my boobs are killing me I woke up this morning with the worst period cramps ever I could not move and then I pretty much slept for a little bit more woke up and obviously I've never been pregnant before and I've never had to deal with like your boobs getting bigger but when I am on my period my boobs are like enlarged and they feel like you just want to do this and squeeze all the milk out so bye have fun so Carlos is going to the birthday party look how good he looks can I show our friends how good you look you look so handsome. Thank you can't see the little bow. Oh, the little collar? Sorry, the boy's got new balls, so it's very, uh, very squeaky today. Yes, right. Carl. Bye, love you. Drive safe. Carlos is going to the Suzy's birthday party. I'm unfortunately going to miss it because I really do not think I can be at a party right now. So we're gonna hang out tonight, which is good actually because, oh my God, I'm so out of it. You guys, I kind of feel weak. It hurts. They like literally hurt so much up here. Which is good that today is a calm day because actually tomorrow and Monday and I think Tuesday, I am not gonna be home. I'm gonna be in Orange County. But you guys won't see that vlog for a little bit. I'm actually going there for a huge surprise. Very excited to share that with you. Probably next week or something. But yeah, so I'm gonna be really busy out and about. So maybe today we can just take it slow and tidy up around the house. I just washed my face. Skin looks great today. It was looking rough yesterday. I am that type of person where I have such dry skin that when I don't keep up with my skincare routine, it automatically just goes south. But I wanted to share this with you guys. I bought this for the boys on Amazon and it was $9 I think and I think it's really cool so I wanted to recommend it to you guys. It comes with batteries and as always I'll link it down below. It comes with a little lock thing. It comes with these little ropes that you can tie onto your leash. So if you guys walk your dogs at night, which we have to be very cautious when we do because there's a lot of coyotes around here where we live and it's also snake season right now and there's a lot of rabbits and bunnies around, which they're not harmful, but the coyotes here, they don't play. They really do not care if you're a human. So I found this and I thought it was so convenient. I wanted to share with you guys. I actually just got Michelle one as well. I just shipped it to her house and I told her not to open it up yet because I'm gonna show her how it works tomorrow and I think she's really gonna love it because her and her brother Maiden, they walk Clementine sometimes really late at night and it always makes me so anxious when they do. So it is a trash bag container for their poop bag. So you can put the poop bags in here and then you can take one of these and tie it onto your leash. So that's super convenient. It'll look like this and then you just hook it onto your leash. But also look how cool this, it's also a flashlight. I cannot show you how bright it is, but trust me when I say this flashlight is incredibly bright for something so small and something so simple that's made out of plastic like this. I think this is the coolest thing ever. And I noticed that when Michelle and Maiden walk Clementine at night, they carry a flashlight with them, which is amazing. But 
I want their life to be easier, so I got them this. I thought this would be super convenient. So anyways, I'll link it down below for you guys. If you take your dogs on a lot of adventures, go hiking, walk a lot at night, maybe you take your dogs to walk in the morning when the sun's not even out yet. These are also good for emergencies. Should there be a emergency and you have to grab your dogs, you don't have to think about their poop bags and then you also have a flashlight just for safety matters. But isn't that cool? I think it's the coolest thing ever. And it goes pretty far. Like I'm standing here right now and it's pointing all the way at my desk that walks in to my bedroom over there. So this is really, really bright and it shines and covers a lot of space. So I'll link this down below, the things that I find on Amazon. I was really excited to find this and I wanted to share it with you guys right away. And for $9, not bad. Hello, it's been a few hours later and I'm going to organize this utensil drawer. Utensils? Yeah. That I have been wanting to do for so long, you guys. This is our third year living here and I just realized that these white organizational trays, they just get so dirty. Can you guys explain to me why all of the Ikea products have this like black fog? And I think if you scrub it really hard, it does come off. And I know someone was like, oh, it's like from candles. We don't really light candles in our house. I think we light it like once a year when guests come over. So we're not really big on like lighting candles every day. So I just don't know why. I don't know if you guys can see, but it gets so dark and foggy and dirty. I'm not even sure if you can tell on screen. I am actually trading this out basically and I bought these on Amazon. They are bamboo utensil organizers. And my favorite thing about them is they actually expand. So you can, so hard to do with one hand. You can actually make them bigger to fit more stuff. And I thought that was so convenient to have. And I believe that it was also like 10% off when I looked over the weekend, cause I think it's about to be Memorial Day weekend. So a lot of sales are happening. But yeah, I'm switching all of our like kitchen organizational drawers into these like bamboo trays. I think it's gonna look way better. I just wiped everything down. I did measure right, so hopefully this fits. It is gonna be a little bit smaller down here. Okay, so I have room in the back. This drawer is just very, very big. It's bigger than a usual drawer in the kitchen. That's why we decided to put utensils here. And then I also got another one. This is the situation we have going on here. So these extend so you can close it, but this drawer, as you guys can see, is so big that I put another one here, but this also extends. I guess we could do something like this. You kind of move it over. Yeah, you can like do a lot of things. You kind of want to see like what kind of stuff you have. So like first and foremost, we have all these chopsticks. Okay, they fit there, they fit here. They also fit here. Oh, that's kind of nice. So we put all the chopsticks there. I also have these black ones. We have these cooking chopsticks that I love. I got these at the Asian store. Oh, yay, they fit here. Okay, cool. Do they fit here? No. These are boba straws. They're boba glass straws and they're amazing. I'm finding it kind of hard with these little ones, but those might be for like spoons and stuff. I'll put my boba straws here. And then we also have these like regular straws. Do, do these fit? Those don't fit. Okay, okay. It's like a little puzzle. See, like I have thin ones. I have like straight ones. I have ones that curve. I love glass straws because metal straws, they hurt my teeth. It looks so much better, friends. I am actually really happy with the outcome. I was able to fit everything in these two compartments. The only thing I'm missing is my big fork. That is in the dishwasher. And then a little bit of like the small forks here. But it fit everything. And then we had room on the side and I was like, oh my God, I actually have a home for my coaster. So whenever someone needs a coaster, I can be like, oh, just go to like the utensils drawer and the coasters will be there. Cause for a while I didn't really have a home for them. But you guys, I will link 
this. They're the same thing. I just bought two of the same thing. I'll link this organizer in the description bar for you guys because I really like it. It's so nice. Hopefully it stays clean and the quality lasts me a while, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. We do have room in the back there, as you guys can see. We have some room back there, so I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I need so I can put back there too, but for now, this will do. Oh my God, it looks so much better. Wow. She kicked her right shoe off, her left shoe off. She's dropping down her shoulders and she's moving all around. She put her right hand down, her left hand down. She put them on her hips and she blew a little kiss and that's it. Oh my, my. We have Filipino sausage. It's like this sweet, savory sausage and it's so good. I made a fried egg and then some plain white jasmine rice under and then some seasoned grilled little chicken bits so Carlos can put in his lettuce wraps. But this is what he's eating for the next two days. And then on top of this, he makes his own food, but this is like the main meal that he likes to eat. I just finished meal prepping. I just got these for the boys. We have to restock because they ran out of their supplements and I had no idea until the other day. So I went on Amazon and ordered our favorite dog vitamin supplement company, Zesty Paws. We've been buying Zesty Paws for a very long time now. We love them. They have different ones for like different things. So like cardio, or maybe you wanna focus on their digestive system. There's even some for like vision, there's mobility, there's like a bunch of things. This is an eight in one bites multivitamin. So hip and joint, heart health, skin health, gut health, immunity, antioxidants, liver health, and performance. So this is for the littles. And then this is specifically for Rocky because he's a senior dog. So this one is senior advance. So I got this and I'm trying this for Rocky. But yeah, I will link these down below for you guys because they're really good. And I always recommend Zessie Paul's. I'm gonna do my little protein hair treatment. Love this product. You guys probably have seen it all over TikTok. I'm just gonna put it on my hair and then clean a little bit and then wash. A lot of you guys asked for Anthony's contact because the haircut was so good. Anthony did such a good job on my haircut last week. It's actually Stephanie's boyfriend. So I listed Stephanie's info in the description bar. If you just reach out to Stephanie, she can schedule a haircut with Anthony for you. He did such an amazing job. Sorry, I should have clarified that in the video, but I totally forgot about it. My hair is so oily from the that Wow brand, the gel brand. I used it the other day and now it's time to wash my hair.
I wanted to give you guys an update of the room. The last time you guys saw this room, it was so messy last week. I was trying to declutter, move things around, clean it out. I ended up moving all of the shelvings that we had for Be Happy the Label into the garage. I had one left over, which my mom called and was like, do not give it away. I want it for my garage. So I'm actually bringing it to her house tomorrow. But right now our garage is so organized and so pretty out there. I think I'm gonna have to clean it a little bit more because we're gonna do a very like at home gym vibe out there. So I'll show you guys when we get to that. But this is the room. It is completely clean, organized, decluttered. I absolutely love it. I realized that there's so much extra space here that when guests come over, we can blow up the bed and this can also be turned into a casual last minute guest room kind of vibe. That's why we have the blow up bed here. But eventually in the future, this room has officially become the nursery. So I'm not pregnant. I am not pregnant right now, you guys. But in the future, that is our plan for this bedroom. It will be the nurse nursery, which I'm really, really excited about. One day, one day, crossing my fingers, one day. But this is what the room looks like. We kept the Husky packing tables. These are actually garage, like building, construction, like very talented people, like Drew from Lone Fox Tables. They're amazing because you can roll them up or down. So if you wanna sit or you wanna stand, and they are heavy duty material. They're really good. So we have the tables over there and then we just honestly have extra stuff. For now, without a baby, it's becoming kind of like a organized storage room, but yeah. And then in there, we have a extra walk-in closet. There's a huge walk-in closet in there and that is where we put our extra printing paper, a little bit of our office supp supplies, things like that are in that closet. But yeah, whoever lays here, and sleeps at night, there's also a TV, so that's kind of nice. I also want to take this moment and say thank you so much to you guys. I was really nervous uploading the last video about shutting down the business. Last week was really tough for me and I was just really going through a few things in my head, really going through that season of life where you feel a little bit lost, you feel like your 20s are ending, are you supposed to be where you're supposed to be entering 30, are you too late on some things, are you too early, you're still trying to find your purpose in life but at the same time, you feel very confident in who you are. It's a really weird feeling for me because I feel like I'm just like floating in the air and I'm standing in the middle of like two places right now, but I'm just, you know, I'm gonna trust in the process and just take one thing at a time and one day at a time. But I wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched that video and reached out and left beautiful comments, messaged me. I appreciate you guys so much. If it wasn't for you guys, I honestly don't really know where my mental state would be because it's just so nice to feel like you have like an extended family that cares about you as much as you care about them. And doing these vlogs has really helped me because I get to be in your homes. Like that sounds kind of creepy, but like thank you so much for allowing me to be like in your home. Thank you for turning on the TV and choosing to click on my videos and being comfortable enough with me to have my vlogs playing in your house for your kids to watch or introducing me to your significant other or letting your dogs watch with you. Like it, I know like our home is our private, like very private areas and we don't really let a lot of people into our home. Like our home is a temple, a place that we think is very private and we cherish it and it holds a lot of value. And so to be able to, to have a place in your life and have a place in your home really means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate it. I always enjoy seeing your Instagram stories of you guys watching the vlogs with your, you know, significant other, your friends, your family, your boyfriends, your dogs, your cats, whoever it may be, even your kids. It, it just means a lot to me that I have this opportunity to be in your life. And so thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. This has also, you know, been a safe place for me as well and I really enjoy being surrounded by such positive viewers that I feel like are on the same walk of life as I am. And I'm also so grateful that I have this online diary to look back on. Hopefully YouTube will be around in like 20 years because I can look back on these vlogs with my kids and be like, this is, you know, when mom and dad moved into the house and this is when, you know, this happened and that happened. And it's been really cool to document my whole adult life online, some good, some bad, but honestly, I look back at it and I'm like, damn, I really did grow up on the internet in my 20s. It's, it's kind of wild that I had enough balls <laughs> to do crazy 
and make some mistakes and be embarrassed and, and do all this growing up with a bunch of strangers from all over the world. So it's a pretty cool thing to have. I love you guys and you know, I am gonna go wash my hair now and I'm actually heading to Orange County but you guys won't see that vlog for another few weeks because it's a really exciting vlog and I'm really excited for it. But I definitely, once I get home, I'm gonna continue vlogging. This week seems to be pretty chill. We're reaching the end of the month so just trying to, you know, work hard and just right now we're honestly organizing the house. We are decluttering and organizing. Summer is around the corner and I just want a clean start to the second half of the year, which is so, so crazy to me that June is literally in a week and a half and we have six months pretty much, right? Yeah. Six is seven, it's considered seven. No, sis, 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 right? Sis, sis months. Yeah, okay, anyways, I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I'll see you guys in a few days. I love you, bye-bye.